Hello, my people. Thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here and welcome. If you're not new, thank you for coming back and for supporting your girl. Make sure you like this video by the end. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so by the end of this video. So in this video, we'll be talking about the things I regret buying for my newborn baby. Those things I just think I wasted my money on for no good reason because they haven't really served me a lot or they have caused more harm than good. So that's straight into our video. We know first time moms, I'm a first time mom for those who do not know. First time moms like me, when you're making your shopping list for your newborn, hmm, you have to include everything. People tell you, buy this, is important. I've used this brand, buy it, it's nice. There are so many things that you want to get for your newborn. In your mind, you're doing the right thing, but it's after you give birth and you start using those things, you realize that there are some you will never even use. Or there are some that are not even good for your child's skin. So here are some of those things which I bought, which I wish I didn't even buy. But one has to learn by experience. <laughs> so starting with the first item. I know all moms use wipes, at least majority of them, especially those who can afford, because it's not easy buying wipes all the time. So I bought a good number and I received a good number of them as well from friends, from family. So this one, Joy Links, it's a wipe I bought and I actually regret buying this brand. I regret buying it because I haven't used it without regretting. Anytime I use it, my baby develops a rash. The first time I used it, she was getting to a month old and she developed a rash. That was the first time she developed heat rash. And I didn't know she was actually reacting to this. So, but when she developed that rash, I stopped using any wipe. All I was using was clean cloth and clean water to clean her up the rash disappeared so this brand is terrible because i recently used it again and my baby still developed a rash big rash the perfume on this brand mm, is not the best so many moms have used this and they have no complaints about it but for me it's a no no jelly is a no no for me i've used um soft care soft care is actually way better than jelly the best I used was Pampas, Pampas wipes. They are scentless and water-based and everything. It's so good for the baby's skin because it hardly irritates the skin. So for now, I'm using soft care and it's good, of, good for my baby's skin. Some of you use dry things and it's not bad. But for me, it's a no, no. I still have some packets there of dry things wipes. I, I will not use it again. I don't know. I'll surely be using it just to clean the house. Because I can't use it on my baby anymore. The next item I regret buying. Not because they are not good. But because I am not using them. Is this. These glass feeding bottles. I have never used them. Because I am exclusively breastfeeding. For six months. And after six months, I'll just like to introduce solids. And if I have to include breast milk, I have uh, uh, little feeding bottles which come with breast pump, which I'll use. There are two of them and they are enough. I just introduce breast milk to whatever puree or whatever meal my baby will be eating. For these two, I won't use them. I don't know what I'll do with them. Either... I'll just keep them maybe for the next baby I'll use or I'll give them out to somebody that needs them more than I do. So, feeding bottles, I don't really need them. Some of you use them from day one because not everybody is exclusively breastfeeding. When I go to work, I breastfeed because my job is not complicated and those I work with are not so complicated. So they allow me to do it and I'm in the office with the baby. There's a part where I can go and sit and be alone with her and breastfeed. So I don't really see the use of this. So go on to the next item. 
and this one i know many of us parents have missed it whenever we are buying baby stuff we have bought this item and it has not worked out for our baby skin i'm talking about baby bath set or baby's uh, bedings lotion so most of us have gone and bought sets like an entire set of baby body cream and soap and everything when we have not even used it because it doesn't go with our baby skin and i've been a victim of that so here are the baby stuffs i bought for my baby to use i don't know if you can see it well yeah i bought this i bought the entire set guys but i haven't used it it's still full you see i haven't used it everything is still there see so i don't know i tried it out when my baby was just born and it wasn't going with her skin she started developing some little little rashes on her body so i had to stop it immediately i stopped it and went to something else i went to something natural i started using coconut oil and that's what i'm still using on her today but recently i added another body lotion to the coconut oil because i realized that her skin is getting dry because of the hair matter it's not actually weak so i added the lotion to help moisturize her skin more so for this i regret buying them i wish i had just gone with coconut oil and not wasted my money on all of this i would likely give it to my little niece because i don't think i'll use them the coconut oil and the lotion i'm using now is doing so much good to my baby skin so i wouldn't need this and i regret buying it so whenever you're buying for baby please i advise you go for natural stuffs and avoid buying all these things that are saturated with chemicals strong perfume uh, those are not healthy for the baby skin consider the baby's ph level the baby's skin ph level and get products which are friendly to fragile skin like the baby's own so those are the few things i regret 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 buying for my baby because if i hadn't bought them i would not have felt the need to even get them i would not have missed not buying them because they haven't served me in any way so if you also have those things you regret buying go to the comment section down below and let me know them and so that we can relate we can relate and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so support your girl and make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up and please comment down below let me know what you think about this video and let me also know your views on regrets on buying baby stuffs thank you so much for watching and see you in our next video